Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? It's official. Lichsteiner has signed for Arsenal from Juventus on a free transfer. So guys, welcome back to some more official player transfers on the channel. Here today, we're going to be going through Stefan Lichsteiner's stats. We're going to have a quick discussion about my thoughts and opinions on this signing. So guys, if you want to see more official player transfers on the channel, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions, and if you agree or, or disagree with me, let me know. I want to know. So Lichtensteiner, Lichtensteiner, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep on doing that, Lichtensteiner. <laughs> Obviously, Lichten, Lichtenstein is an actual uh, country. So, Stefan. Born in Switzerland, 34 years of age, so he is, um, well, he's not a young grasshopper, <laughs> you could say, I'll get onto that in a second. 34 years of age, the, um, the Gunners have signed the right back, he stands at 6 foot tall, he plays the right back, right wing back, and right midfield position. He does, he's not your typical sort of right back, he has a lot of uh, attacking qualities on that right hand side, so he's not your stock standard right back. You know what I'm saying? So his youth career, he played in Switzerland. He is the Switzerland captain as well. He played for Grasshopper from 2000 to 2001. He managed to make his senior career debut in 2001 to 2005. He played 79 matches for the Grasshoppers in Switzerland, scoring four goals and winning one league title. From 2005 to 2006, he made his way to Lille in France, Eden Hazard's former side. He managed to play 89 games for the French side and scored five goals. Then he made his big European move to Italy, staying in Juventus. Uh, sorry, staying in Italy for a number of years. From 2008 to 2011, he played 100 games for Lazio, the Roma side, scoring three goals. From 2011. He's 100, he's 80, yeah, he's 100 games for Lazio, earned him a move to Juventus from 2011 to 2018. He played a whopping 201 games for the old lady and uh, scored 12 goals, winning seven, yes, seven Serie A titles in the process. And now he has moved to Arsenal. Switzerland stats wise national career stats he is the captain of Switzerland and has played 99 games for the Swiss side and has scored eight goals he's going to be meeting up with Jaka his Swiss counterpart he has some nicknames as well they call him this is what the Swiss call him they call him Forrest Gump <laughs> on that right hand side which is hilarious if I do say so you see myself or the the Swiss Express the Swiss equivalent you could say so overall do I think this is a good signing for Arsenal yeah I think it is Unai Emery has got his first signing under his belt he's not leaving it to last minute and rushed signings like Arsene Wenger did in the past do I think he's going to get much game time at the Gunners no being 34 years of age I would say no, he's probably only going to play one season, and I, reckon, I wouldn't be surprised if they move him on. It's just hilarious to see how far Arsenal have fallen, that they've resorted to these free transfers of 32, 34-year-olds like Kalasinac. He's a good signing, and same with Lichtensteiner. But it's just crazy to see like the dwarf in comparison between them and Manchester United, who just blew £50 million on Fred. Liverpool just blew money on Fabinho, and they've gone inside a free 34-year-old. It's just crack up, really. But overall, I think it's a pretty good signing for Arsenal. He's going to help them try to get back into the Champions League. I wouldn't see this being a good squad for a, a signing for like a United or a Liverpool or a Man City. He's got experience and he will be bringing competition for that right back spot as Hector Bellerin is just sort of sitting and rotting that position. He's got no competition and he's just sort of... Re he's like potentials like really paid it off like massively he really needs to kick up the R sector Bella and he's amazing on FIFA I love him on FIFA but in real life he's sort of starting to uh, to dip a bit going to Oxford having talks and whatnot and just sort of <laughs> relaxing he needs to sort of kick up the bum I think but he is the Switzerland captain he's got a boatload of experience it's just a shame he's going to Arsenal to be perfectly honest uh, Santi Gazzola has left the Gunners and on a free transfer as well. So that's going to be freeing up his wages. So yeah, for free, 
don't know how much exactly the wages are. They don't really disclose that, but it's probably around about the mark of £100,000, give or take. Overall, I think this signing is... I don't know if it's good. I think it's just a solid. It's just a solid, fair signing. He'll do all right for Arsenal, maybe for a year or so. Uh, going from, like, Kalasanak, he was a, a pretty good player, signing on a free as well from uh, Schalke. But, yeah, it's a shame he kind of went to Arsenal, to be honest. He's a pretty good career mode player as well, if you want to um, consolidate, especially if you've got, like, a mid-table Premier League squad. But, guys, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions on this signing. I can really see them just bringing him in for experience. Like I said, seven Serie A titles, bringing competition in for competition in for Hello, uh, Hector Bellerin. And he is the Switzerland captain at the end of the day. So really experience and guile for Stefan Lichsteiner. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Stay tuned for more FIFA 18 content on the channel. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team, or maybe just some games, I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link, G two way there's some really good prices so even just going looking around to be honest anyway uh, uh patreon stinger there as well come and join the community on steam my name is ben simsy stay tuned for more videos on the channel make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name is ben simsy good bye mares whips it into the box royce that is just ridiculous with the layup marco royce